Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of our Nordic Village Let's Build. And in today's episode, I want to work a little bit on these warehouses. Last episode, we knocked out the docks and some of the initial planning, and with the docks, obviously they need a place to put all of their stuff. So I've got a warehouse kind of marked out right here, and I also have a warehouse kind of marked out over here as well, and that is what we're going to work on today. So let's grab ourselves some materials. I want some oak logs for sure. Um, probably going to need some oak planks. And then we also need to take a look and just see as far as roofing goes, we need to kind of make a decision relatively early about what we're going to do for our tile roofing because there's a ton of different roofing options. Uh, I kind of like this cyan one, I think. Yeah, that's kind of nice. That would go... How well does that go with this? That's not bad. We might be able to make that work. Anyway, so we're going to have a warehouse that's kind of right about here or so. And I need to kind of count out these dimensions a little bit because we had, I didn't do that when I was planning. I really just kind of wanted to get a general idea of this is where a warehouse is going to go. This is where a guard tower is going to go. You know, stuff like that. So let's see. If we go one, and then we count one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Let's kick this one out here a little bit. Now, actually, we should also think about this, because do we want... Where do we want the air, the warehouse entrance to be? We're going to have a guard tower, like, right here. So maybe we'll have our warehouse entrance here. And then what we could do is kind of bring this up this way instead. So maybe we'll have, like, a, a relatively small warehouse over here, but it'll be very deep. So it's only like five blocks wide at the entrance, but it would go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and like back here. It would be like five by nine, which I think is a pretty good size. And then let's just go ahead and delete. Um, let's actually go all the way to here. And let's just set air. So that'll get rid of basically all of this, which is what I want. So we'll go kind of up here. And these will kind of go down. Okay. Now, as far as our options, we could do kind of like this sort of log cabin Feel? Like, I, I actually think that's really kind of a cool look. Uh, if we take our logs like this, because in this texture pack, in the Conquest, they connect sort of like this, and that really kind of creates that log siding effect, which I think is really kind of a cool feeling, uh, and I think works really well for a warehouse. So, why don't we go with that? Let's just kind of connect all that up. There we go. And then back here, we'll do essentially the same thing. And it's also kind of a cool thing because it creates a little bit of depth in the walls, which is also kind of, you know, something that you can never really get enough of. It's always good to have that extra little, those extra little details. So we get something maybe like this going. And... Uh, let's do it down here as well, just to kind of cover it up. Because from over here, you can kind of see. Yeah, that's better. And then in here, from here to there, I think I'm going to put down coarse dirt. Mm, I don't like the look of that at all. Just kidding. Let's try cobblestone for our warehouse floor. Yeah, that'll do. I think that'll do. Um, and then we can maybe go... Hmm. I think 
we'll sort out like shelves and tables and stuff like that in a little bit. I kind of want to sort out our roof. Now, I know I was looking at that cyan tile, but the more I think about it, the less Nordic that feels to me. So maybe we'll go with thatch instead. Uh, and we'll want to border it with something else. So let's see what we have as far as like a darker wood. Spruce might work. Yeah, I think spruce will work for our purposes here. And we'll just kind of bring this along the side like... Oh, come on now. Like that. And then I need spruce planks and slabs. There we go. So right here, we'll do something like that. And we'll kick this up a little bit. And then bring it over. Kick it up again. And over. One more time. And... Oop. Like so. And then up. And maybe we do the little... Kind of... Thing like that. That's kind of a Nordic feel. Also kind of Rohiric. <laughs> <laughs> kind of feeling a little bit inspired by our um, our Hall of Edoras last build that we just completed not too long ago. But hey, that's okay. Uh, did I bring that? Yes. Yes, it did. Okay, good. So, let's get that done on this side. There. Here. There. Up. Up. Over. Over. Up. Up. Over, over, there, here, here. There we go. And that should line up nicely for us. Now what we can do, because we've done that with these stairs facing that way, rather than having them oriented like this, what we can do there is we can take our thatch like this, and we can basically have that thatch kind of sitting just a little bit down from the border of our roof, which I think is a very good look. Uh, certainly a much better look, in my opinion, than having it flush. So, that'll work. And then here, maybe we'll go like this. Or maybe, actually, why don't we go planks for the first couple and then we'll bring down stairs for the rest. So we'll get a little bit of like a, a little bit of a curve in the roof there, which I think is good. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Okay, now we also need to sort out these, but we'll worry about that in a little bit. Let's see about getting the rest of this roof in place. Although I've got trees in my way, it appears. That's okay. Let's get this going. And here. And here. There we go. And that looks pretty good, I think. Now, I want to do something in here to kind of deal with this. I don't want this to be open, for sure. That I know. So, maybe we grab these logs and try and bring them across like that and just see how that looks. That's not too bad, actually. Can we do that up here as well? I mean, there's a little bit of uh, the thatch kind of poking out but it's not horrendous, it's not horribly bad. And I think that actually looks all right. Now, we're also gonna wanna add some pillars going like this, I think. Kind of up here. Uh, let's see, that's inset two, so we'd put another one right there. And that would work, right? Yes, good. And then maybe up here we do one more 
just kind of coming all the way across the middle like that. Just to kind of break that up a little bit, make it look a little bit better. Now, we've got a lot of options for lighting, so let's maybe grab some small lanterns and some rope. Um, rope, there we go. And we can maybe, oh, that rope is not, um, nope, can't see that one either. That one you can see, okay, <laughs> there we go. I don't know if it's the shader pack or just something, but either way, it wasn't rendering properly. Although, the other option would be, rather than the rope, maybe we just hang them up like this a little bit. I think that looks a bit better. Uh, and then as for this roof, I think I want to bring that across like this. Here we'll put some upside down stairs just to give this a more rounded feeling. And then up here, we'll put thatch like that as well. So that should do. And then I just need to patch it back up. There we go. Mm. And we could do something like this as well. Yeah, that's a bit better. All right, now, we've got that all figured out. So now we need to see about kind of getting some stuff in here. So let's see. If we look at, like, barrels, there's... We're going to need apples, cabbage, fish. Um, barrels, 3D barrels, regular barrels. Let's look at baskets as well. Uh, cocoa? Sure, why not? And then crates, of course. So let's grab some of those, and we can just start kind of piling these up in various different areas, right? So maybe here, we can stack a bunch of them over here, put down a couple barrels there. The idea is just to kind of make this look like there's stuff in here, and we can accomplish that in a number of different ways. It doesn't have to be perfect, we just want you to be able to kind of look inside and see some of this. So we'll do that. Let's also look at, like, maybe some stuff that's essentially a slab. Like, we've got bread, for example. And bread only takes up half a block. So we can do some of this kind of stuff just to, you know, make it change a little bit of the elevation. Uh, same goes for cheese. Cheese is another one we could do stuff with. Just kind of pile that in a couple places as well. And then I think we should probably put a couple chests in here too. So maybe a chest like here. Maybe a chest there. And then maybe there's a gold chest here. Maybe we'll put a couple of those in too. Just to kind of store everything. So this would be a little bit of a storage area. And I, I like it. I think it works very well. Now... What I want to do here is, for the moment, I think I want to delete everything around it, because I'm basically going to attempt to copy-paste this entire structure. Oh, so let's grab... Some sort of guide block, that'll do. So we'll go from that corner to here. And then we're going to try standing right here and going copy. And then I think I want to flip it and see if I can put it, like, right here. How'd that turn out? Oh, that actually worked really well, all things considered. Much better than I thought it was going to, anyway. But, we're gonna undo it, and I think I'm gonna do it, like, right here instead. 
So we'll get it up in the air a little bit more. That's all good. Yeah, there we go. So we've got a couple of these warehouses that essentially match, um, but some stuff's kind of flipped around, moved around. We can come back in here now if we want. Uh, we look at maybe some of our barrels, grab, you know, different things, and maybe we swap some of these out so they're not identical. Uh, so like maybe these become fish. Maybe that becomes a barrel with a grill like that. You know, some we just change a couple things around, make things look a little bit different in a couple different spots, uh, just so they're not exactly identical. Um, but that worked kind of beautifully, to be entirely honest. I'm really satisfied with how that worked. Awesome. Uh, okay, so now we need to kind of clean up that area a little bit. So like this, we kind of ruined this whole thing so that we'd be able to copy and paste it properly. So we're going to come back and we're going to fix that a little bit if we can. We'll do something along these lines. Just basically bring the terrain back to where we'd expect it to be. We'll maybe put some grass back in. And I think that in general, a lot of this terrain up here kind of needs more grass anyway. So we're just going to kind of work some of that in too. There we go. Just a little bit here and there. There we go. That's looking good. Okay. And let's take a look at this one. Just kind of look around the edge a little bit. We'll kind of maybe bring out the back of that. I'll put a little more grass in over here. This all seems good. This one looks like it really copied very nicely. So I'm not really too worried about that. But there we go. We've got ourselves two warehouses now for storing stuff from the docks. So... There you go, guys. That is going to do it for this episode. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave me a comment. I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.